Hey, hey, it's Filet. You're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. And now you can find me on Instagram at Filet TV channel. Anyways, I might be on vacation at some exotic location, but I still have plenty of time to think about my combi and some of the work that I've recently done to it. I got a little tired of the way it kind of sat in the front, had a four inch narrowed beam on it. So I decided it was about time to switch it out and put the stock beam back in it. A little bit worried about the stands because I've seen a lot of these buses where they look a little bit lower in the back than in the front, especially when you put a little bit of a load on them. But as you can see here, it doesn't look too bad. This is a shot without the narrow front beam. So I got a wild hair up my butt and then one weekend I decided the beam's coming out. So as you see, CB 4 inch beam. I wanted to put the stock beam back in it, so I cleaned it up, changed the shocks, put it all back together, and it wasn't long until before it was back on the road and I'm kind of happy you know it definitely rides a lot better and it tracks a little bit better but the turning radius you know also improved so I'm pretty happy with it I like the way it works out and like I said it didn't it still has a little bit of a rake to it so another thing that I was working on was the upholstery so I wanted just a simple blue with white piping so there's a company I found that was called foam order Dot com and you can just order the sizes you need with the cover they send it to you you assemble it and boom there you have it and I went with this because nice thick heavy-duty foam the bed will fold out nicely uh, be nice and comfortable for all these great Volkswagen campouts and the blue and the white was pretty easy to match you see I did the landing in the back a little bit thinner so it all balances out and um, you know, now I'm going to work on the wood a little bit and finish off the cabinetry. So like I said, I went with this blue and white because it matched really well with the original, well, not the original, but the blue and white that was already had been reupholstered on the front seats. So you can see it's the same concept, same idea. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's pretty close. I didn't want to go with the vinyl, so I went with it, just a nice cloth fabric. And one of the next things I'm going to do in here is get the, uh, you know, the hardboard door panels. You know, get a little dynamat in there, you know, get the soundproofing done, make it sound a little bit more solid, get some door panels, and it'll clean it up nicely. I'll be pretty excited once that's done. So with the stands, my driveway, I mean, my street, it has a little bit of a uphill to it. So when you look at this thing, it kind of does look like the rear end's a little bit lower. But on the other pictures, it looks pretty good. But once I get some weight in there, I think it's going to drop it. So I had another solution. You know, because I do a lot of swap meets and a lot of, you know, camp outs and stuff. So I decided to go ahead and put a trailer hitch on the rear. Got, got a hold of Jeremy on the Samba. He offers these trailer hitches. Great deal. Bolt on. You know, you trim up the bumper a little bit to fit your receiver hitch in there. And it's, you know, pretty foolproof. Just literally bolts into place. And I got this little Coleman caboose trailer. Where that I could haul all my extra camping gear and as you can see it works out pretty well you can fit a lot of stuff in there and I tow it behind my bus and I am a happy camper with a big strong pun anyways you know you can find me now on Instagram fillet TV channel as well as my fillet TV on YouTube I will keep pumping out these videos as much as I can so go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and remember look for me on Instagram fillet TV